Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Bottom Left and Corner. We have Jess starting as the Reg Zerg, upper left and corner. We got Bug starting as the blue, Pro uh, the blue Protoss. You'll notice that I did not have the Losers Match from this grouping, unfortunately. I was actually kind of looking forward to see if uh, DJ Emmy uh, shifted things, but that that's precipitating both players to... Is that the right word? The cause and effect of this is, is that we end up with a final match between Jess and Bug. I think either player could be very, very interesting. This is a gigantic map. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. You just uh, sit it all. Part of the interesting aspect of it is just how massive it is, uh, which can make, uh, honestly, I'm wondering if Corsair Reaver is going to be a play at some point, but you can just see the pathing all the way around here. Um, but yeah, you got the uh, blunted gas at the 12 o'clock and the 6 o'clock location, which to a degree encourages... Uh, grabbing your third at kind of this nearby location, which is a full 5,000. But you can see it's a kind of a disjointed gap where attacking into this with a good splash damage defense can be challenging, but trying to maintain both these angles can be a little bit challenging. Uh, but past the single base can be exciting. We've already got a pylon down at the natural expansion, which suggests we're pro maybe going to go forge first. Yep, there's forge first. We'll see if Bug sends out the double scout to get the information. Part of the problem with Double Scout on this map in particular is, is, again, due to the size, I'm wondering if the timing works out where, I mean, honestly, maybe you just go Forge Nexus first anyway, uh, presuming that your Zerg opponent with the four player aspect and just the size and the pathing is gonna go for this 11 hatch anyway. So just technically a 12 hatch, but basically an 11 hatch, the drone making its way out. That's a skirt off uh, a 12 hatch right there. Looks like Jess is going to end up with first scout going to the top left hand corner. Bug checking top right. I'll be interested to see if this turns into a macro oriented map, interestingly enough, or a macro oriented play between these two. Uh, Bug has done a lot of interesting things. They actually dropped a preventative cannon just in case. Unfortunately, is going to be a double waste here because first of all, the drone going to see it. Going to do a little bit damage <laughs> trying the probe off the line. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised that Jess didn't ignore the cannon and just proceed to the main just to make sure that the assimilator wasn't up and to check for additional pylons, etc. Or maybe even create some chaos in there. That would have sacrificed the drone, presumably. But at, in response, we are going to see a third hatchery before gas from Jess. So Jess wanting the absolute... And this is going to be a big economic lead for Jess to start here. Some probes off the line. Worried because that drone got first scout, and right now Bug still has a lack of information. But with that preventative can, honestly, I feel like one can. Bug's trying to get away with okay, if there's a nine pool or a 12 pool, a little bit rare, or an over pool. Uh, what if there were Zerglings heading my direction? So I'm going to plant one cannon down preventatively, but also have these probes just in case there's a run by. And this is causing Jess, who with that information went three hatch first before gas, still hasn't planted a gas and is actually going to end up ahead on workers in between here so it has the spawning pool but again still no gas and this has got to be a puzzler to bug this is so we got three hatch pool before any uh guy uh, geyser's been grabbed now this telegraphs either it's going to be five hatch hydralisk or maybe that was uh, a i don't know maybe a mistake in the midst of this jess is definitely going to have a big economic boom here you can see already up workers despite the natural expansion grab but with a cybernetic score and the assimilator. Yeah, it's going to be four hatch before gas. This is nuts. I don't think I've seen this before. This is very new. So just going to toss up an overlord. A first sell it making its way out. Just is just. Got, so two. So we got two pairs of zerglings and everything else has been drones up to this point. And you have even that one drone that usually would be on an extractor, not on extractor. And keep in mind, those three drones that usually would be on gas have been on minerals instead. A zealot is going to be able to peek into the nine o'clock, might be able to get some economic disruption. We got four zerglings potentially to engage that pretty rapidly. So the drones, let's see how well Jess reacts. So Jess takes one drone hit, another drone takes a hit. Is that going to be one? Yeah, so at least a drone kill, which is benefit the bug and a nice pocket right there. So the zerglings, and again, Jess has had a lot of trouble with this uh, in this match, or maybe bug just good at forcing this, is doing the, the zealot trade around. So the zealot actually gets five kills here. So very worthwhile while zealot before getting sneezed on and dying. But plus one weapons up. The cybernetics core is up. And we are, in fact, never mind. I was expecting a gateway, or sorry, a stargate. But Bug is actually skipping and going to gateway. 
Second Zealot has managed to sneak into the natural expansion, getting swarmed by Zerglings. We have the probe making its way back across as well. Just has started mining gas in between here, but I still do not see a Hydralist Town. Unfortunately, that Zealot not faring quite as well. We also have a few latent drones around. Bugs uh, probe. Let's see how long it's for li uh, gonna last here. We do have the another hatchery. So the, yeah, this is gonna be five hatchery and a hydral den at the natural expansion. So just going for the biggest economic output possible with a Zerg opener here, uh, transitioning into five hatch and definitely uh, planning. Okay, we're playing the long haul game. I don't know. This could be an X factor. Bugs got that probe hidden in between here. And I still haven't seen any Hydralis produced. And I'm wondering if this is a Photon Cannon defensively placed by Bug. This is a bit... Bug see, like, saw all of this, so I'm a little bit concerned by this because this is further resources that are being invested that aren't going to help Bug out. We do have that Citadel of a Dune down. See, see plus one weapons. Not a lot of Zealots out in the front. Again, because of the Forge opener and those two Zealots uh, already made their way out into the front. But just right now, at a very healthy 32 worker count, is just about ahead in supplies so everything working out in the in the front game gonna drop in a, a second extractor now and a creep colony interestingly enough that's an odd positioning for that creep colony kind of curious so we got a defensive sunken at the nine o'clock and another defensive sunken potentially behind kind of an odd play well i'm wondering if that's gonna we're gonna see an evolution chamber drop and something along those lines the hydros gathering around the overlords for the corsairs that are not coming bug might be able to get a little bit more into this just because this is now three gateways pumping zealots, but the plus one or the the leg speed was not upgraded. So plus one weapons is going to finish. You're going to have slow zealots marching across the map. Two additional gateways being plopped down. But honestly, Jess isn't playing this as far as a a hey, we're gonna we're gonna. I mean, she, uh, Jess has already got the economic lead right here, and already sending out a drone to maybe grab another base here at the six o'clock interior six o'clock location. And the Zelts will be spotted by that Overlord. So if Jess gets proper, so if sees these slow Zelts moving out, that's going to be plenty of time to build Hydralisks and a position across to defend it. The question is, is okay, yeah, we have seven Hydralisks queued right now. A second creep colony that, honestly, that second one might be queued. It looks like the Zelts going to hold short. The Overlord moving out of position just in case there was a Dragoon. This Zelt keeping eyes on that Overlord positioning, the rest of the Zelts making their way across. Bug's play might honestly be here to instead of... So Bug is ex expecting a bust. And is misreading the situation a bit. It looks like that worker made its way back in and was killed. Wondering if that Hydralis did or does that one that one? We don't see the kill count anywhere, but it looks like it was wiped out. Maybe by the second colonies that made its way across. But right now, Bug is somewhat misreading the situation. Bug is expecting a bust and is looking to attack from the Zelts from the rear and drop down a bunch of additional cannons. We have some High Templar here on the front as well. And instead, Jess is skipping all of this and saying, you know what? I am just going to flat out out macro you. I'm going to have a third, maybe a, even a fourth gas before you even have a third base. Now the Hydro is starting to march out to the front. We do have Lurker Tech being researched. Overlord speed there as well. And so if Jesse yeah, just keeps on top of the macro, this is one problem that Jess had previously, in my opinion, is Jess had an immense macro lead. Overlord needs to sneak back. That Dark Templar might be able to get a lot of free kills out of this. That Overlord is on that edge. Let's see if the Jess can control these Hydralists back to the corner. That looks like that Overlord is going to try to sneak back out of range. But Jess, oh, going to get him. He was on hold position. Poor fool. But with that, the Zealot's going to go ahead and charge into the 9 o'clock. They're pocketed. There are the two sunk colonies here. Just doing a great drone drill right there. But still four Zealots roaming. Again, still no plus one leg speed. As they're making the way across. We have two Sunkins down here as well. So just pretty well defended up. Where did the Zealots go? I lost track of them. It looks like they're just going to hold this corner. And now make their way across. Never mind. It looks like they have Zealot leg speed here. So I missed the upgrade. Somewhere in between. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. And they're just going to try to march all the way into the main. The main. They're going to see the double evolution chamber. The lair. Might be able to get some drone frustration here. But they're cleaned up without doing a lot of damage otherwise. Double evolution chamber. A slew of hydralists and lurkers now morphing on the front. The 6 o'clock base is up. Not yet saturated. But just has all sorts of resources to work with. And we got 54 resources, or 54, 56 workers, sorry, out on the map for Bug. And even supply otherwise, but that means Jess's army is larger and stronger. And in already a contained position, if these lurkers spread out, do we have a... 
a we do have the observatory just morphing in so bug is going to have a difficult time pushing out and if just just does the single drone saturation here at the six o'clock and goes for that Vespa geyser and just continues to rally troops here at the natural expansion i don't see that there's a lot bug can do aside from getting a shuttle and trying to play from that position and maybe bug is killing one of his own gateways to open up the front maybe with some miraculous size storms this is a lot of size storm actually here so this could be a game changer depending on how well those size storms hit and how successfully those high templar are out here just uh, has it looks like a handful of drones that are not mining at the nine o'clock so uh, not as dire a situation as it might look because we have a, a handful of idle drones here and there but still looking real bad for bug three supply lead briefly here but that is uh, somewhat in probes as well. We do have, it looks like that shuttle going to scoop up. Some Dark Templar are going to sneak in a single Zealot as well. I think this is going to be pretty well defended there. There is an opportunity for a drop into the main. we got all sorts of overlords at position. We also have this Hydralisk in between that can maybe scout that out. Looks like some cannons. That was the uh, that <laughs> sound effect. That was my best impression of it. Okay. Hydralisk spots that coming across, but did, is just going to react. I'm not sure that just registered that. We have a couple idols here in the front. This will be the, it looks like just missed it potentially here and bug a little bit concerned. So starting to move back around just in the meantime, getting distracted maybe by those dragoons on the front. Some drones, actually never mind. The drones were pulled preemptively. That was a good call on bug is seeing those drones evacuate. So it looks like just did see it. And now that shuttle gonna take some damage makes its oh man just barely skirts into the main and now this could be problems both directions so the overlords trying to create some havoc for jess at the main the dark templar land the shuttle gets wiped out the overlords move out of position where are they going overlords so an evolution chamber drops and jess unfortunately the overlords going the wrong direction the overlords have been bought by bug overlords have been paid off i don't know what you bribe an overlord with but clearly, the drone's trying to defend themselves here, taking some losses. So, nice for Bug. And it looks like, in the midst of this as well, between the side storm, the oversurge of observers, the distraction of the shuttle and the Dark Templar at the natural, the army at the natural expansion of Jess, sorry, of Bug, getting annihilated under a blanket of side storm and some diligent Dragoon movement, on the lurker lines and so this has kind of been a problem for jess throughout a lot of these matches where the macro is absolutely on point and that dark templar still this dark templar 14 kills and still going and it looks like jess didn't realize that it was taking again the overlords what were they paid in like what do you pay an overlord like what what does what are overlords interested in honestly where you can be like here take this helium make their life a little bit easier 12 o'clock location bug is easily going to be able to take that now so complete reversal of fortunes from the early stages and honestly just did everything right up until the last three minutes here which is devastating that's got to be frustrating for jess in the meantime just doing just things expanding to the bottom right some drones being built i'm not sure whether it's been registered that that natural expansion is empty as of yet in the meantime bug Wow. So the main mind out. Bug has, I don't know if Bug recognizes the, the crippling maneuver that's happened here, has double the supply, nearly double the supply, and more drones getting killed. This Dark Templar is a Dark Templar amongst Dark Templar. He needs to get, there's, so what kind of badge? This is, I'm asking a lot of interesting questions here, right? Like what, what do you bribe an overlord with? What sort of award do you give to a Dark Templar? Maybe a shadow badge from Pokemon? Like hell, give him a monument that like, th that's really what it's got to be. You have an, a monument that is invisible in front of a big Protoss building and people keep running into it because they can't see it. That's, that's basically what happens. That's the monument to that guy. We'll call him Dave. Overlord dies mid-map. Jess in trouble now as this is a huge roving army. We do have a handful of lurkers that Spore Colony to try to defend. We have some more idle drones here at the natural, but Jess, unfortunately, just to, like the build order was spot on, but right now doesn't have the army, maybe doesn't have things hot queued up to, to deal with this. Psy Storm over the lurker lines 
observers trying to get picked off. It looks like some observers, plenty of observers still surviving, however. And Bug now careening towards the natural expansion. And has plenty, honestly, to wipe out all of Jess's holdings. And yeah, oof, man. Plus two weapons, plus one armor, by the way. Just plus one weapons, plus one armor. So you also have the upgrade lead in Bug's favor. I'm going to say it. Bug dodged a bullet here. Bug also expanding top right, by the way. Because everything was looking all Jess through earlier stages. And then that drop with the simultaneous attack at the natural expansion completely changed everything. And Jess kind of falling apart. Looks like we do have some lurkers engaging from the rear. But natural expansion, which was devastated earlier. So a hatchery gone, a lot else gone. And Bug honestly has bases to work with. And has it looks like another army to work with behind this. Still si uh, side storming what's left. As I looked away, the side storm obliterating the army. So that melted pretty rapidly. Looks like some additional hydros being built. But the side storm just crushing those bunched up lurkers. The observers still stand. And we got some high templar. Are going to morph into Archon here? Yeah. So we got an orc Archon more. Oh man, that's nothing going right for Jess. Is this going to get taken out before that plus one weapons finishes? I think it might. So it's gone. That's additional waste of time. And Jess going to GG right there. Brutal, brutal match for Jess. And that's going to... We're going to have that sort of energy going into game two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Great comeback from Bug. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.